So, this is not the video that I thought I'd be next uploading, but life is funny. I'm sitting in the 76 and I'm wearing a hat because I don't want to brush my hair. <laughs> You've obviously seen the title and a lot of you have already figured it out. <laughs> yes, my Facebook was disabled, <laughs> which in turn disabled all of my accounts, including Instagram. I'm making this video because as more days pass, more people are figuring it out and you are all emailing me and messaging me and I'm finding you guys in all sorts of random social medias. Be like, hey, can't find your Instagram and then he, people thought I blocked them and I... <laughs> nope. Story time. It was last week. I was on night shift. I was still away. I'm back home now. I was asleep. It was the middle of the day. My sister called me and she said, hey, so you just sent me a porn video and I was like half asleep going, I don't think I did, like not recently. And she's like, no, I think you've been hacked. <laughs> oh, okay, so I'm like trying to wake up. I go onto my Facebook account, I go onto my feed and I can see that there's been a video posted just now. So this just happened. So I immediately go into my settings, I go into what's logged in and it's just my phone. I have two-factor authentication on login notifications so even when i log in from the, a different device i have to do all this stuff input my password wrong i get an email about that <laughs> now that happened right so no one else has been logged on no one else is currently logged on so i was like that's really weird i immediately go to change my password and i get booted out and i haven't been back in since so this is on my private facebook page and my instagram's linked to my private page so facebook obviously owns instagram and they disabled all of my accounts. <laughs> the process of getting them back has been, I cannot think of any other process that I've ever been through that has been this complicated and useless. <laughs> it's good, right? Like Facebook disabled my accounts because someone obviously got in, like a bot has got in, sent a heap of really inappropriate videos in like an instant. And Facebook's obviously smart enough or has programs in place to identify that as spam and immediately shuts down the account. So that's good, like no one's still in my accounts mucking around, scamming people or doing anything bad. That's really good that they did that. The process of being able to get back in and be like, hey, I am, I am me, I am the owner, please let me back in now, is insanely complex. <laughs> no luck i can't get instagram back for don't have facebook and there's absolutely no contact details for facebook no phone numbers no live help everything that facebook offers as help and support you have to be logged in for <laughs> so when you don't have a login because they disabled it fun times that's where my account is if you're looking for it i haven't blocked you i haven't changed my name here people thought i changed my name and that they didn't know what the new name was. Nope. They give you 30 days, right? They give you 30 days to request a review and do something about it. Otherwise they permanently disable your accounts. In terms of like how I'm going, a lot of people are like, oh, are you okay? Like, just lost your account. I am de devastated about losing memories. Obviously I have majority of my photos backed up, but they're all on hard drives. So it's just nice having everything on Facebook. You have all your memories with your family and your friends. Like I've had Facebook since before I even kissed a boy, like that same Facebook account. So there's so many old memories on there that's just, it's nice to have it all somewhere and not tucked away on hard drives. I also don't text message or call anyone. I just use Facebook Messenger to contact all my family. That's how we video call each other. That's how we tech, lost all that. I had to actually text someone, which was weird. Other than that, it's, it's not a big deal to me. I think a lot of people seem devastated because they're like, oh, like you had a lot of followers and you've like lost all that. I go more off my story views on Instagram as to how many people I guess are following along. I'm well aware that there's not 115,000 people who follow me every day. I've had that account for nearly a decade. There are old accounts on there. People don't use those accounts anymore. They've got new accounts or like me, they've been hacked. And <laughs> it's not a huge loss. It's just painful. I don't know. I just feel like Instagram's falling a bit behind. I wish companies didn't put so much emphasis on uh, Instagram, but they are. So that's kind of painful. Instagram over the last few years has just 
been really poor at handling scams, fake accounts, hackers, just the whole, all of them. They're really, really bad on Instagram and they have been for a while. So it used to just be, you know, scams about the Bitcoin or the pretty girls and, and they were very obvious, right? So no one fell for them. And they got a bit clever. So I got a few where people would send you a link. It would be like, hey, I saw this video of you, thought you might like to know. Seems tempting to click. So people click it and once you click the link, you basically somehow, not a tech person, don't know, whoever does it is able to access all your accounts. They get data from you, just from you clicking the link. So I'm constantly on my Instagram followers removing bot accounts, removing scam accounts, Bitcoin accounts, those giveaway ones where every single post is a giveaway post. Did it do any good? No. <laughs> it's exhausting trying to self-manage Instagram's poor work. It's just really poor on their behalf and I understand there's a heap of accounts but like, come on. I'm just disappointed in the system. I tell all you guys to make sure you have all these security options checked so that you don't get, you know, hacked and scammed. And then it doesn't even matter if you have all those checked because you could still get hacked. I'm not mad, I'm just disappointed. <laughs> and look, we'll try. We'll try get the Facebooks and the Instagrams back, but if we don't, we'll just start again I suppose as much as I don't want to out of pure principle pure stubbornness don't want to start another account because they have shitty customer service but if I do I will link it in the comments and pin it my biggest thing is I want my Instagram name back because a lot of my YouTube videos a lot of old links all link to that username so not having it is gonna be painful but that's fine we do what we have to do. <laughs> That's my experience so far. I hope that it doesn't happen to you guys. I currently don't have any advice about what you can do to stop it. But yeah, just thought I'd keep you guys up to date with what's going on. That is orange. Let's not be orange. Gaming account and Mars's Instagram account were actually not linked to anything. So I still own those, so they're not hacked. Can message me on there, but yeah, if you're not interested in gaming, don't follow the gaming one. If you're not interested in Mars, don't follow the Mars one. If you want to message me, I'll put all my other social medias that are still active in the description. And yeah, obviously I'm still on YouTube, TikTok, uh, Twitch. I haven't live streamed in a while, but you know, we're getting there. And I've actually been finally setting up my Discord properly. So there's a heap of different channels. So there's one show us your four wheel drive. There's a camp setups one and camping locations. Like if you want to share where you've been, jump in there and you can post all that. We can all chat together in there. Okay. <laughs> that was a long way down. And I don't know if you guys know, but I shared this Frisbee. It's supposed to be heavy duty. It didn't last. In case anybody wanted that update, because I couldn't share it on Instagram. <laughs> this is Mars, and he now has more followers than me. He doesn't even have thumbs. You don't even have thumbs. Yeah, so that's always fun when your dog has more followers than you. <sighs> what? You influencer? What do you want? Why are you so needy? Why are you so clingy? I don't know guys, let me know what you think. As somebody consuming content, not creating it, I find myself just not excited to be on Instagram. I'm just like scrolling, I'm just like, I don't learn anything. I don't feel like I take value away from anything. YouTube, yes. Um, TikTok, there's, there's a lot of weird stuff on TikTok. Don't get me wrong, once you're on it for a while, it, it's really good at tailoring what you see to you and what you like. So there's so many technical videos and because they're short style, you don't get bored. And I've learned so many things. Like I've learned why the soy sauce bottle has two openings, helpful things in the trade with tooling. And I've taken so much value away from TikTok videos compared to Instagram. So yeah, I don't know, what do you guys think? Like, what are you guys on? What platforms are you using? Mm, thoughts? I don't think there's much else to update you guys on. I've been away for work, so I haven't been here. So nothing's, nothing, I didn't do nothing. There's, there's no update on anything. Come on, get your ring. Go get it. Influencers. Where, go and get it. One job. So obviously I still have like a heap of photos. So I'm thinking I might just post them on YouTube, the community tab. 
I guess it's just a reminder to back up all your photos always, back up all your videos. Just remember that everything that you post on a social media app does not belong to you. It can be taken away at any time. Just keep that in mind. <laughs> My website is still active, shop is still there, you can still grab merch. I am thinking of releasing a shirt. I don't know if you guys are gonna like it, um, but I guess I can show you that now. So this is the shirt. I'm torn about whether I should put she or he on the back. So the quote is, he who dies with the most toys wins. Do I make two separate ones? Because it's the same shirt, right? Like it's a universal fit shirt. So you guys let me know and then I will put them on the website. So it has odd boy on the front. The sleeves are like kind of long. Like they're not like those little like triangle sleeves that just bunch up in your armpit and just get sweaty. But this is a small. I could probably go a medium if I wanted it to be like looser. But there's no side seams. A little bit stretchy. But right, I think you guys should be able to see that. Oh, that hurts my legs. So yeah, that's what the back says. It does say, he who dies with the most toys wins. So that quote is kind of, I guess, inspired by my dad because my dad growing up had every toy known to man, like everything, cars, boats, jet skis, like ski boats, like just every toy. <laughs> with sand surfers, windsurf, just, there were so many phases and my mom had to go through all of these different phases. <laughs> kind of just like a reminder to be a kid and young at heart and not take life too seriously and money is there to be spent and you can't take it with you when you go. So you might as well have some fun. Thank you guys for sending me your reviews and your photos of you guys using your blankets. It is coming into winter now, so hoping I'll be able to use mine a little bit more and I might bring out some hoodies. But otherwise, thank you guys very much for watching. Please leave your comments down below. I will get back to all of them um, and check out the description box for the website links and my other social medias. I'll see you guys around. I'll see you in the next video, which hopefully will be up very soon. Open up my heart and you'll find me.